She gave me parents. And I'm telling you, the study keeps coming back over and over and over and over again. That has nothing to do with it. Gays can raise children. Single folks can raise children. It has to do with love. Wow. It has to do with loving people and caring for them. And that's what they're finding out. So yes. they say it's a 25-year-old study. So the lesbians are all out there. <laughs> now I want you to know. Oh, man. And I, as one of those who joined the Gallon Club at the Sperm Bank. Oh. Yes, I know. They have my picture. I'm, I'm the most proud. It took a while. <laughs> it took a while. Not as long as you might think, but those of us of the wonderful Gallon Club over at the Sperm Bank, <laughs> we know, and I've donated many sperm, many sperms, little ones, big ones. All right. Now, they say that count is now gone. You know what? I want you to know. For some of you, go down there right now. Go today. Go out to the Sperm Bank. Bring your own reading material. And go down there and donate some sperm. And some of you, you, you know, I know, I know, I know. It's hard to give it up. Can you, you have a certificate to prove this claim? About them in the gallon club? They like, got my picture. Uh, I just want to see. They're going to have a picture of me down at the sperm bank. You go there like. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mario. Hi. Hi. Okay. The you, sperm, the sperm, the sperm. I tried to warn you, Sherry. I, you know, <laughs> I'm telling I just tried to warn you. You thought you was coming on something. Go, oh, no. Y'all didn't know they had a club at the sperm bank? All right, go on down and see if you'll see my picture. I'm telling you, I tell you, I'm glad to donate. I was wasting it anyway. All over the shower. Now nah, I can do it but to something good. Have some children. All right. So it's, I think it's time for us to take a break. Yeah. And then we're going to come back and do some new, new sports. Yeah, man. It's some a, hot picks. Yes, we are. Some hot picks. And maybe we'll find out a little bit more information about Miss Fikes over there. You oh, yeah. well, we're going to get some numbers? Yeah. yeah, it's about time to find out because she's been behaving. Oh, quietly. that's because she knows, she, knows, know, she knows you're watching. <laughs> Is that it? She knows you're watching. Yeah, okay, we're about to find out something on you. She's behaving. Notice the body language. <laughs> you know, she's wondering, what they going to show? <laughs> Mario will know. Yes, right. We, gonna, we got some of your old boyfriends. They upstairs. <laughs> Rocky and all them, Rocky? Biff, Scooter, JJ. Greenie, they, they all up there. They gonna come down and give us the inside. Oh, okay, man. Okay, let's show you a little piece of an artist performing here in the studio, Ricky Diaz. Okay, I'm blessed. Mm. We love this. Okay, we'll be right back, people. This song says I'm blessed. Yes, you are, brother. So, yes, you are. Hey, not you know, if you ever just want to come by and chill. Hey. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. You. We, we, Always have I got a feeling we'll be seeing more stuff, of them. Baby. Yeah. Always. Yeah. But everybody in the chat room, they don't even want to ask you questions. They're gonna talk. They want to talk to you after the show in the chat room. If you don't mind staying. Oh, I would love um, to. Um, stay, they're yeah. they're just kind of mesmerized. I've never seen the chat room this like they're listening to Thank you, you. No, and, and really you too, Walter. Yeah. Really great about the music and what I love to do. So. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate this opportunity. You don't understand how much appreciation I have at this current moment. And so I want to thank you guys for, for believing in Ricky Diaz also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So I guess we'll go into the next song. Follow you, really. Beat them up. I felt life repress. Social and just stay, yes. Touch me by the color of my skin. I support your cause, no appreciation, no applause. Who's to blame for their flaws? Who are they to judge me? Who are they to say? Who are they to dictate how I live today? In spite of stories told, it's made a stronger soul. I'm a man of flesh and bone They say I come from the ghetto I don't know any better But the key to my success has been that I've been blessed They say I come from the hood And I'm so misunderstood But the key to my success has been that I've been blessed So much negative Her words they say it's only made a stronger man. I steady keep the fire. I revolutionize. I keep on walking with my head on high. 
Who are they to judge me? Who are they to say? Who are they to dictate how I live today? In spite of the story, so it's made a stronger so I'm a man of flesh and bone. From the ghetto, I don't know any better. But the key to my success has been that I've been blessed. They say I come from the hood, and I'm so misunderstood. But the key to my success has been that I've been blessed. Time passes by, I realize there's more to be in the enemy. My faith, oh yes, I am blessed. Oh yes, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, you see, cause they say I come from the ghetto. I don't know any better, but the key to my success is see that I am blessed. They say I come from this hood, and I'm so misunderstood. But the key to my success, you see that I am blessed. Wow! wow. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Riggy Diaz. Wow, man. man, early morning vocals, man. Yeah, you know that goes to show you that we're the, the kind of in studio performances that we're going to be doing more and more here at Pack Stereo. Just to remind you, you're listening to Morning Coffee with Mario, an over two hours show where we talk about the news. We've been covering a lot of the news topics today. We started out with politics. Got into all the local happenings. We took time to introduce you to our fine new associate, Shari Fikes. Miss Fikes in the house. So <laughs> And so we want to welcome you back from that commercial break. Remember, we say all free music all the time here. And then also independent artists. And that was Ricky Diaz. Hope you guys really enjoyed that. Oh. Yes, baby. Oh, I tell him, hands above the head. I tell him. <laughs> Keep them up there. <laughs> question yes baby sometimes at night when my parents aren't home <laughs> why do they call you mr remus uncle remus you know that's because why do they call you Uncle? no remus? no because no no because i was i was telling some old stories one time and i was back you know i, I tend to rinse this i tend to rinse i know i use preference by l'oreal it rinses out so easily you know preference by l'oreal but I haven't rinsed it in a while. So one of my colleagues one day, because when, when I had a grown a beard, they was looking at something. They said, man, you look like Uncle Remus. Okay. <laughs> you know. But you don't. I understand. It's hard, you know. To, see, all of us can look like certain people. Sometimes you don't want to look like them. And you say, I don't want to look like that. But you may. Wait a minute. I'm going to tell you the truth. Just like they think Victor looks like this porn star. <laughs> now... I'm not going to be the one to tell just you. Just like right. them. Tall, yeah, they, dark, They said he looks sexy. just like this porn star. And you, they, you may feel you know Victor from a porn movie. That's cool. But it's not true. Yeah. And they may say, I look like Uncle Remus. I understand. But it's not true. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not in. Wait a minute. Sorry. He's the one that started it. Because nobody really said anything on the show. Because you had a, everybody talk about Victor. It was a big rumor went out that Victor had a cock ring. <laughs> Now, everybody say, Mar, how dare you? I, see, what happened was, we monitor the chat room. They think we're not watching them. Right. Oh, these nasty freaks. And I love them, though. Y'all, y'all my kind of people. But they're nasty in the chat room, Mac. They're nasty. They're nasty.